developing story which is taking place in Mumbai and that is the ED action on Sena MP Sanjay Raut. Now right from the morning today around little after 8 o'clock we've seen that ED swooping down on the Sena MP's residence in Mumbai. Sanjay Raut there on your screens being seen there waving uh, at his supporters who had gathered outside his residence. So raids being conducted by the Enforcement Directorate in three locations. And we are given to believe that it's two of his houses in Mumbai, one in Bandup and the other one in Dadar, where the raids are currently underway. Now, Sanjay Raut there uh, trying to put up a brave face for his supporters who have gathered outside his residence over there. Remember, this is with regard to a money laundering probe that the Enforcement Directorate is conducting in connection with the 1200 crore land scam case. We've seen Sanjay Raut also reacting on this uh, a, a little earlier in the day where he tweeted essentially saying that he is distancing himself from the scam and that he also says that Bala Sahib taught us to fight and I will continue to fight for the Sena. Let me go across to my colleague Shweta who's been tracking all the updates. Shweta, what's the latest? It's been a few hours that ED has been there at Sanjay Raut's residence. Any word? And we also believe that a team from Delhi has also come down to Mumbai. That's correct, Tonima. The ED team from Mumbai have come down to Mumbai and they are present at Sanjay Rao's residence, uh, showing you the visuals of outside uh, what is happening uh, outside Rao's residence, as well as it's been four hours where this uh, ED raid is taking place. Although the uh, questioning is not exactly happening, but yeah, as far as uh, documents examining is concerned, that's taking place. They are checking few more files uh, pertaining to the money laundering case, uh, which is related to Patra Chol's scam. And after this, what we are also learning is, just a short while back, the legal counsel of Sanjay Raut also went inside Mr. Vikrant Sabne. He went inside, although he was devoid of any kind of documents or files, but yes, he will be taking the investigation further along with the Sanjay Raut. And uh, as far as ED is concerned, now remember, it, it's already been hours where ED is already inside, and it's been expected that after some time, Sanjay Raut can be detained by the ED officials and can be taken to ED office situated in South Mumbai. But before that, the visuals outside his residence are speaking for themselves as the protesters have been gathered. These Sena protesters have been sloganing since morning against the ED action. And here it's all about the Patra Chol scam which has taken place and about the ED uh, attaching the properties of somewhere around 11 crores, which involves uh, Varsha Raut, that's Sanjay Raut's wife, and other premises of Sanjay Raut first, that's in Dada Garden Court, is also being raided by the ED officials. Apart from that, there's also eight locations in Alibag near Kihin Beach, where it has been um, alleged that the money laundering has been done there also. The ED has already attached these properties, but yes, uh, no stop sloganing outside Sanjay Raut's residence and here we are seeing that ladies have also participated in this massive protest what is uh, taking place around. Also with this if we just speak about what is happening with Sanjay Raut we know for the fact that Sanjay Raut have already been summoned twice by ED but he skipped the uh, ED summons and after this we are seeing today the team from uh, Delhi ED team in fact from Delhi has reached to Sanjay Raut's uh, residents and here we are seeing the kind of protest which is taking place along with this Sonima it is very important to note that it is not just Sanjay Raut's name which is emerging this entire Patra Chol case has been taking place since uh, 2008 and since then there are many high profile names uh, involved in this entire scam uh, which is around 1034 crores and here we are seeing the kind of uh, misuse of tenants being done uh, the FSI which has been involved very wrongly and the role of MADA and other builders as well now Praveen Raut is also playing a very vital role in, the, in this entire scam where uh, he was a close confidant of uh, Sanjay Raut, this is what we are learning from our sources uh, but here we are also showing you uh, the kind 
kind of uh, security which has been heightened up outside uh, Sanjay Raut's home, Tonimo, also towards right. that side of the uh, building where there's a rare gate. Uh, in fact, all the ED cars have been parked there and uh, it's, it's just a kind of a wait and watch game that after four hours, um, it is expected that Sanjay Raut can be taken by ED officials to the office for further interrogation right. related to the case. Right. Shweta, thank you so much for joining us. We also have just got information as we were saying that it's also another house. It's not just this particular house where uh, Shweta is standing at the moment in Bhandu area of Mumbai, but also a second pro property of Sanjay Raut in Dadar has also been uh, raided there, the ED officials there as well. This property had in fact already been under scanner uh, of the ED. Right. Uh, I'm joined on the broadcast by Mr. Ali Daruwala, Maharashtra BJP spokesperson. Sir, first of all, you know, there are questions being raised by the opposition leaders. We've already seen there several times onwards. They have said that there's alleged misuse of central agencies as far as op opposition leaders are concerned. And this seems to be somewhat the same thing that at least the reactions that we've got so far from uh, the from the Congress as well as the NCP and the Sena is concerned. That's what they are saying even this time around. In fact, uh, Sanjay Raut himself is saying that he cannot be intimidated. He's not going to leave Sena. He will not surrender. He'll continue fighting. What is your response to that? Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, putting the record straight on mirror now, right now, I'd like to make it very clear. When you raid a member of parliament who is uh, a member of a prestigious house, you just cannot get up in the women fancy of a Sunday morning and raid a house. You need several permissions before conducting a raid. If your books are in order and you have all the permissions required to conduct a raid, it's only then you get permission to enter somebody's house. Well, putting it more straight on the record, this was not happening today. This was happening for the last four to five months. The Patrawala Chal case was there. He was summoned n number of times. He failed to appear. It's only after that he has failed to appear. ED has approached his residence. Ma'am, if there was any uh, iota of uh, evidence that he had, he could have approached the court and stopped this action from happening. The fact is, uh, trails have been established, bank accounts have been matched, and statements have been furnished. That is the reason ED has gone ahead with such a daring action today. Right. We can, in fact, see that ED's action currently is still underway, but there are still responses coming in on this. Uh, I'm also joined up. Uh, please stay with us. I'm also joined on the show by Mr. Charan Singh Sapra. Mr. Sapra, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Daruwala there essentially saying it's not like one fine day the ED will wake up and start raiding anyone's house. They have been collecting evidence. There's an ongoing investigation in this case, which is why there's, uh, you know, follow-up action which is being done now by the Enforcement Directorate. That is their argument. What do you have to say to that? That this is part of the procedure? See, uh, I feel if you should also remember that ED has given notices and they have uh, done a little bit of spade work on certain MLAs who are with Eknath Shinde group. For example, Pratap Sarnaik. Um, action was taken and still now the action has been kept pending. There are another five MLAs of this group who were served notices and um, uh, the uh, uh, personal secretary of Mr. Eknath Shinde. So why is ED not investigating those cases? I, I have a big question mark that they only search for the uh, people who are from opposition parties. And uh, I feel this is another example of a witch hint or uh, uh, vindictive politics. Uh, because uh, within Maharashtra, they have served notices to various leaders. But why they are now targeting only Sanjay Raut? They should have targeted others also. They should have investigated others also who are now with BJP. And the best example is Narayan Rane was served ED notices. There were searches on his residence also. And uh, when he went to BJP, there are no searches. There is no case now. So what is this kind of washing machine? What is the Kamal detergent? And the similar example are there in elsewhere also in the country, like Hemanta Biswa Sarma. When he was in Congress party, he was, uh, you know, said Pani Chor. BJP used to tell him Pani Chor because uh, uh, he was in that uh, Louis, Louis, Berger, Louis Berger case. Right. Uh, now, Mr. Sapra, please hold your...